every Thanksgiving, I have one anchovy to remember my dad by. My dad loved anchovies, but anchovies are an acquired taste. Well, one of the freedoms that we have in Christ, one of the tremendous freedoms, the freedom from anxiety, is also, like anchovies, an acquired taste. You see, Jesus told a parable, and the parable went like this. There were two houses. One was built on sand, and the other was built on the rocks. And the storm came. And guess what happened to the one on the, on the sand? Well, it was destroyed in a devastating destruction, but the one that was built on the rock stood. You see, if you want to have the freedom from anxiety, you need to build your house on the rock of Jesus Christ. You know, my observation over the years is that mature Christians have much less anxiety than, uh, than other people. In fact, I've seen people go through cancer, go through the death of a spouse, the walking out of a spouse, and even death itself with minimal anxiety because they had built their house on the rock of Jesus Christ. Well, I'm going to give you six ways, six ways that you can build your house on the rock of Jesus. Way number one is to get close to God. Yeah, get close to God through prayer and through thanking him and through worshiping him. And you get close to God and some of his love, joy, and peace will rub off on you. The second way is to drive habitual sin out of your life. If you've got a sin that you're doing over and over again, any sin is going to drive you away from God. And because that's what happens. Sin separates us from God. But obedience gets us close to God. So you want that peace that's available being close to God? Get sin out of your life. The third way is to learn about Jesus. If we're going to build our house on the rock of Jesus, we need to learn about Jesus through reading the Bible and Bible studies. Number four is Get involved in your church's ministries. Get involved in one of the ministries. Do more than just go to church and write him a check every week. Get involved in one of the ministries. Way number five, get involved in a ministry outside of your church. You know, we all have these ministries that we like. Maybe we give a little bit of money to volunteer. Get involved. And way number six is prayer. Prayer. So wait a minute. You already said prayer. You said prayer and you said get close to God. Well, prayer is especially important. Paul says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication uh, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Well, your assignment for this week is to consider the ways that you can build your life on the rock of Jesus Christ. And the second thing I want you to do, or observe around you some people that maybe are going through difficult times and see if it's not true that the mature Christians have less anxiety during difficult times. Well, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Aloha. See you there. And if you find the, these little thoughts of the week valuable, please pass them on to somebody else. God bless you.